now that we have our app ready with basic communication with the server or the server app let's um, try and implement our login which is the first step so let us quickly see the main JS okay we are not using the router right now but I will implement it the first thing which I'm going to do is install the package so npm install view router save okay so we have our router package installed so we need to import that okay and yeah we need to declare that as well now because we are going to use the route so this thing will entirely change I will change this part I'll completely remove that now I'll first declare a constant which is routes this is an array and in this array we will have objects each route is going to be an object where we have path okay so path the first one is the root then we have component using app so we will continue to do that and we will name our component so it's easy for us to refer and yeah so our first path the only path right now will be the app and then we will declare another constant which is router we will new up view router yeah we can pass the routes and I'll additionally pass mode as history so that we can get rid of the hash URLs and instead have proper you know uh, URLs instead I mean basically no hash URLs and last we new up the view instance object and we pass router and we say dollar mount so in our index yes we will do router view and this is done so let's save everything okay we are getting this page now if I would have removed this okay you can see I have this hash URL instead sorry I'll keep this and just refresh so that this works all right now we need to quickly set up our login page let me go to app.view uh, I can practically remove everything uh, okay doesn't matter so what I will do is quickly have the markup ready and then I'll come back instead of you know doing it here I'll just have the markup okay so I have my markup ready so I have a wrapper basically in any new view 2.0 template uh, the entire markup should be contained inside one parent container so, so in my case it's this wrapper class in this I have a section login then the row column and I have a panel where I've started the form then I have my input the v model is login.email and the password is v model login dot password and I have this login button handle login form submit v on submit with dot prevent okay so this is something which we have already done in my previous video as I have shown now I need some bootstrap theme so what I will do is there is a free theme for bootstrap I'll just use that which is lumen so where is the bootstrap file this is it inside my source assets CSS I'll have bootstrap dot CSS I'll paste this I'll need the fonts as well because 
the CSS file requires the fonts but anyways so I'll download those as well so I have copied the folder and I will just paste it here so this is the fonts folder with all the fonts here okay now one thing which I haven't done yet is I'll be including the CSS file here using SAS so if I for now try to do that language should be SAS okay I'll get an error something which says SAS loader cannot be resolved the reason is simple npm install node sas first i need to install that okay so we have this package installed and we need to install one more which is um, sas loader so we installed node sas and now i will do sas loader okay All right so i have both the packages installed let me refresh and yeah so now what i can do is <coughs> I can say import assets CSS bootstrap dot CSS okay and it should basically render this form I have some for some reason there's a vertical scroll sorry horizontal scroll anyways I'll fix that later um, so we have some basic theming here now we have the login let's quickly write out the method we have a handle function to be created so we have methods which is an object and here is our function are we hitting that we do okay so right now i'm not going to do the validation but the basic idea is if the username and password is correct in my case so if you remember we created user table this is the credential right so we'll go here and we will auto populate it for now so that I, I don't have to type it again and again you know this is something which i do when i'm developing the application so yeah um, okay we hit this and now we need to do a post right this is where we are going to send a request to oauth slash token so one thing which we can do is we can have something like dollar http dot post and then have the url dash oauth token but you know um, i don't think it's a good idea to have all the URLs in the code itself because it takes away the uh, maintainability because tomorrow if this URL changes I have to manually change everywhere so what I typically do is inside my source I create a config.js file okay and then inside my config.js file I will export a constant uh, API domain okay and what I can do is I will take this part okay and then another one export constant login URL this will be API domain plus this oops sorry now what basically will happen is at any point of time if I need to change anything this is the only place where I will need to make a change rest of the things will come perfectly okay now I need to import this so I'll get rid of this I'll have login URL but I'll have to import this from I'm inside app so config okay we are in app and the config is on the same level so no problems there okay and yeah it's a post URL so we need to send the post data so we'll declare a constant it's an object now if you remember for login we need to send this whole bunch of um, things like grant 
underscore type and other things so i'll quickly set that up and come back okay so i have set this up post data which is passed here but i have intentionally kept the client id and client secret um, blank now the thing is if i put that here you know it's in my code so you know if someone has access to the code it can be a problem so typically what we do is i uh, you know, I follow something which even Laravel does, which is we create a file called env.example.js. Okay, and I will take these two, paste export constant. So we'll have this blank export constant client secret blank and save everything and yeah create one more file which is env.js okay i'll copy this paste it here and the first thing is inside git ignore i'll do source slash env.js which means this file will not be added or committed to my git code okay now quickly go to sqlite I'll open up my database. Okay, we need to go into the clients and I'll just copy the secret. The client ID is 2, we know that, and we'll paste it here. So, what are we going to do? We are going to import client ID and client secret from env. Okay let's see um client id oh yes if i need to have these i'll have to make them strings actually no i think it's different but it says identify client id is not in camel case so all right what i need to do is this variable i will have to keep in camel case client id okay and all right come here client id client secret let's quickly update our example.js save everything and i still have client id is not defined in my view three client id oh yeah i know um, fine i think now it should work all right the last error what is it env doesn't exist env.js is not available because that's strange i think i created it in the wrong path all right i'll close that out go to my terminal mv env.js to source and also move env example to source okay this is where i want them and yes we are now running the application so the last thing is i'm doing the post so dot then response console dot log response oh i need to remove this file sorry about that okay all right so we are getting the access token and if i make some mistake let's check that as well yeah unauthorized uh, error so basically our login is working i will stop the video right now and in our next video we will create a new dashboard route um, and yeah um, we will use local storage to store the access token the refresh token and do quite a few other things like authentication and guard on the routes so yeah um, check the next videos thanks for watching guys if you like the video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to share the video and subscribe to my channel